Look, here is your friend. This panel goes back to the beginning of time, when Alduin and the Dragon Cult ruled over Skyrim. Here, the humans rebelled against their dragon overlords and the legendary dragon. Alduin's defeat is the centerpiece of the war. You see, here is falling from the sky. The Nord Tongs, masters of the voice, are arrayed against him. So does it show how they defeated him? Isn't that one more clear? Ah, patience, my dear. The Akaviri were not a straightforward people. Everything is couched in allegory and mythic symbolism. Yes, yes. This here, coming from the mouths of the Nord heroes, this is the Akaviri symbol for shout. But there's no way to know what shout is meant. You mean they used a shout to defeat Alduin? You're sure? Oh, yes. Presumably something rather specific to dragons. Or even Alduin himself. Remember, this is where they recorded all the news of Alduin and his return. So we're looking for a shout then? Damn it. Have you ever heard of such a thing? A shout that can knock a dragon out of the sky? Uh, Greybeard's probably now. You're probably right. I was hoping to avoid having to involve them in this, but it seems we have no choice. All right. Well, I'll uh, ask the guy if he knows what shout they used. Right. Good thing they've already let you into their little cult. Not likely they'd help Esbern or me if we came calling. We'll look around Skyhaven Temple and see what else the old blades might have left for us. It's a better hideout than I could have hoped for. Talos, guard you. Look here. All right, the sweet. Third panel. The prophecy which brought the Akaviri to Tamriel. Boop, 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 boo. Hey, Obi Wan Kenobi. <laughs> hey, I need to learn a thing. Got you. Your training proceeds well, Dragonborn. Where did you learn of that? Who have you been talking to? Uh, I ain't been talking to nobody. Um. Uh, it was recorded on the wall. The blades, of course. They specialize in meddling in matters they barely understand. Their reckless arrogance knows no bounds. They have always sought to turn the dragonborn from the path of wisdom. Have you learned nothing from us? Would you simply be a tool in the hands of the blades to be used for their own purposes? Blades are helping me. I'm not their puppet. No, no, of course not. Forgive me, Dragonborn. I have been intemperate with you. But heed my warning. The Blades may say they serve the Dragonborn, but they do not. They never have. So can you teach me the shout? No. I cannot teach it to you, because I do not know it. It is called Dragonrend, but its words of power are unknown to us. We do not regret this loss. Dragonrand holds no place within the way of the voice. Um. Well, damn it. I thought you knew all the words. But not Dragonrand. The knowledge of that shout was lost in the time before history began. Perhaps only its creators ever knew it. But I am not the one to speak of it to you. So what's so bad about it? was created by those who had lived under the unimaginable cruelty of Alduin's dragon cult. Their whole lives were consumed with hatred for dragons, and they poured all their anger and hatred into this shout. When you learn a shout, you take it into your very being. In a sense, you become the shout. In order to learn and use this shout, you will be taking this evil into yourself. Oh dear. Oh, uh, well, if it's lost, how can I defeat the guy? Only Parthenax, the master of our order, can answer that question, if he so chooses. So, uh, I guess we need to talk to him. You weren't ready. You still aren't ready. But, thanks to the Blades, you now have questions that only Parthenax can answer. Okay, so who is he? He is our leader. He surpasses us all in his mastery of the way of the voice. Why oh, haven't I met him yet? He lives in seclusion on the very peak of the mountain. 
He speaks to us only rarely, and never to outsiders. Being allowed to see him is a great privilege. So how do I get to the top of the mountain to be able to see him? Only those whose voice is strong can find the path. We will teach you a shout to open the way to Parthenax. Look. Far. Cool. I will grant you my understanding of clear sky. This is your final gift from us, Dragonborn. Use it well. Clear skies and will blow away the mist, but only for a time. The path to Parthenax is perilous, not to be embarked upon lightly. Keep moving, stay focused on your goal, the summit. Okay. Let's uh cue this shit up and get going. Let's favorite it actually. I might end up using that a lot later. Sweet. Out of here, you stupid mist. Ugh. This is annoying. Ow. Go away. I hate you, mist. Ugh. I keep screaming at you and making you go. Cause that's the way you get to Parthenax is by screaming at the mist. Roar! Where'd you come from? Ice Wraith. Ow. 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 Good thing I've got Frost Resist. <laughs> I think that's what's kind of damage the, all this stuff is doing. It's pretty funny. What the hell? Frost Troll. Man, I have like no light armors. What the fuck? What the fuck? What the <laughs> oh dear. Oh well. <laughs> I needed that. I really I needed that. Oh my god. <laughs> that was amazing. <laughs> I've heard of those bugs happening, but I've never seen it before. I don't even know what spawned that. I think Serena just shot him with an ice shard and it just made him go fucking crazy. Oh jeez. Another ice wraith. Don't need that. Hope we run into another ice troll. That'd be awesome. Poor goat, I'm sorry. It just yelled inside of its butt. Probably scared the shit out of it. <laughs> 